This week marks the return of Defense and Security Equipment International, a biennial event dedicated to, well, the defense and security industries, you know, killing things. And while the event may trigger some creative protesting, it also gives the industry's heavy hitters a chance to show off new artillery. A couple of things caught my eye, but the first was Thor, a unique mortar round developed from the security and defense side of Saab. Actually, well, I mean, actually, the first thing that caught my eye was that at least three different products at DSEI were named Thor. I mean, now, I'm not, like, I'm a comic fanboy as much as the next person, although, like, Thor is not really a favorite, but, I mean, so we don't have, like, any confusion here, we're talking about the new Thor ammunition, not the headgear from Savox or the twin-hulled offshore raider from Citra. I mean, although that is, like, that is, like, one kicking boat. In the past, mortar rounds blast in every direction, which decreases the mortar's effect because more than half of the fragments are sent into the sky. I mean, this new design only loses about 20% of its fragments, which makes it more lethal. And, I mean, never before has a truer use of the more bang for your buck ever been used. The mortar is more than two and a half times more lethal than the standard 120 millimeter round, and has a range of about 8,500 meters. According to the company, the cylindrical main body is what makes Thor more lethal. Each projectile weighs more than 30 pounds, is about 770 millimeters long, and can hold more than 4,250 steel balls or fragments. So, even with that 20% loss, I mean, that's like, that's still like 850 steel balls sent into the sky. I mean, still raining steel. Though I suppose Thor is more fitting for the mortar round, as unlike the others, this one will actually bring the thunder. Wiener Rover. Not to be outdone on its own turf, BAE Systems made a splash with an array of field equipment. Really, I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite, or like, maybe most impressive? The Broadsword Spine is an invisible power and data network that is built into a soldier's clothing using conductive fabrics instead of wires. It's a unique wearable developed using technology from Intelligent Textiles Limited that can supply electricity through yarn. BAE also developed new technology that protects pilots from laser attacks. I mean, apparently there were like 1,400 laser attacks in the UK alone in 2015. They partnered with General Dynamics on smart bridge monitoring and they revealed a concept for an autonomous tank of the future. But. What I found interesting, and supplemented with an acceptable number of photos, was BAE's Ironclad, an unmanned ground vehicle that reminded me of like a ruggedized version of Domino's delivery drone, or like Oscar Mayer's Wiener Rover. I mean, if you can't say that enough times in your career, Wiener Rover. Ironclad is a modular UGV that rolls on asymmetric rubber tracks for more than 30 miles on a single charge and can climb 45 degree gradients in extreme environments. The modular nature makes it capable of attaching different packages to the top. So you can attach a robotic arm to it for explosive ordnance disposal, add a sensor and a camera to it for autonomous reconnaissance missions, or you can even mount a remote weapon station to it. I mean, a pair of UGVs can even be used in tandem to evacuate casualties from the battlefield. Next, BAE is working on making Ironclad capable of working autonomously alongside other vehicles as well as ground troops to complete missions. Wiener Rover. Finally, we have a new drone that is launched by firing a canister into the air. Developed by Lockheed Martin and Worth Research, the Outrider is a lightweight unmanned aircraft system that is only four inches wide, weighs about 3.75 pounds, and can be launched with the press of a button, be it by land, air, or even under sea. I mean, that means, that means submarine under the sea. The Outrider can be operated remotely, but can also fly autonomously, up to 50 knots. It also features an HDTV and an infrared camera in the event that an actual human is operating the craft. The concept was designed by Lockheed Martin engineers based out of the United Kingdom, and while the rendering is interesting, I can't wait to see this thing actually work in real world scenarios. Just fire, and then it like, I mean essentially, this thing is like a t-shirt cannon, only like, instead of blasting somebody with a shirt, it just like unfolds into a drone and flies away. But instead of like, blasting out like, skimpy little t-shirts for, you know, 
those fans. But instead of like blasting a spud at your hillbilly brother, it's actually firing a drone to go and fight a war. But instead of like blasting this extremely destructive thing, it's really just like, I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design. Wiener Rover.